The other thing we showed new last year was the ability to take this mixing console and all the IP audio which is on the network and use it as a multi-track recorder, which led to the obvious question of why don't we do the transcription in multiple tracks rather than in just the audio file where it's a, a mixed stereo um, track of everyone speaking together. So if I open these three microphones here, the multi-track will start recording, but also if we angle over to this screen here, Then I can see three columns, the presenter, which is over here, the guest, and another microphone on the far side. Does this mean I can also talk to this one? Yep. So if I talk to this one, you can see the live stream coming out on your end. How do I know I'm not looking on background noise? And now if you close the microphones, Which just all the ones that are faded up. So here we saw, how do you know I'm not picking up background noise? I think anyone who could have an absolute idiot is coming from over there. Now if you close the microphones, just the ones that I did up. So how do you know we're picking up background noise like now, etc. So we can see the transcription. The, these guys over here were having a separate conversation on the other mic, which is also open, which is then confusing it over here. Um, but yeah, so we're demonstrating that all of the audio that we just did, uh, we could take a multi-track version of that. And then we could actually remix what was done. Um, so here we can see the three microphone tracks. We can see the fade up and the fade down kind of happening at the end. And the audio clips that we had. And we're using this to demonstrate two things about speech mapping. Number one, the fact that we can do multi-channel transcription, so we can separately identify the individual speakers. We're doing um, not voice identification, but we're doing vid visual identification. So that camera switching system is able to identify the face of Chris Moyles uh, and then label the microphone for us. And then Speechmatics is helping us to actually transcribe it. And we're doing that here in, in real time across multiple channels as part of this demonstration of the multi track future of radio because radio has to be increasingly multi-purpose multi-platform it's not just you do your link and go home you need to make the best of the podcasts get the edit of the interview out but you need to take the bed off underneath this is a way of finding the correct point and then also we believe ultimately having the studio react in real time to what's being said so if you mention netflix or if you mention uh, donald trump the studio can actually change the graphics which you on display we can pull in extra information from Wikipedia and other links as well. Oops.